Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I'll be teaching you about the zip statement and how to use it. And this is the fourth video in the Python Advanced Tutorial Series, and by the end of this video, you will have a great understanding of how to use the zip function. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb Shaw, and I post loads of awesome Python tutorials and other computer-related stuff, so if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Okay, so this is fairly similar to the enumerate function, and it is also quite simple, so let's get right into it. So I'm in a new Python file, and the first thing I'm going to do is create some lists. It doesn't matter what they hold, so I'm just going to have x equals a, b, y equals a, b, z, and d, and z, and hello, yeah, my, my Okay, there we go. And now, let's create a for loop, so for i, j, k, in zip, x, y, z, print, i, j, k. And I've forgotten my colon there, and if we run it, we get 1, a, hello, b, 2, b, there, 3, c, my, 4, d, coders. So what this does is it goes through multiple lists at the same time, and we are tying together each item of the list that has the same index. So 1, a, and hello all have index of 0 and are being tied together. As you can see, 1, a, hello. 2, b, and there all have the index of 1 and are being tied together. So if we just comment this out. If we just print out zip x, y, x, y and z and run it. We get this zip object, and it's an object that we can iterate over, similar to how we could iterate over a generator object. So, we could do for i in zip x, y, z, print i, and then we'll get tuples for each zipped index. So we can see we've got the index 0, index 1, index 2, and index 3, and they're all tuples. Now we can also convert the zip to a list by casting it, so we could print list zip x, y, and z, and then we get a list, and each item in the list is a tuple. And then of course you could go on to manipulate those lists. Okay, that's pretty much it for zip. I know it was quite a short and simple tutorial. In the next video we will be learning about first class functions, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like, it really does help me out. If you are new here, I post Python tutorials every day, so if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.